Hey guys, Jennifer Greenberg here. So I am going to talk about my uh, John C. Maxwell's 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth, um, the Law of Pain. So this one was a really good chapter. Oops, a really good chapter. Um, the Law of Pain, good management of bad experiences leads to great growth. And he starts off the chapter always with a quote, and this one is, every problem introduces a person to himself. And when I first read that, I was like, what? What is he talking about? But when I actually thought about it, it makes sense. I mean, it's when you actually are going through problems, obstacles, roadblocks, that you really get to know what you're made of. So anyways, um, some things that I wanted to take note so I can remember myself. Um, Pain prompts us to face who we are and where we are. What we do with that experience defines who we become. So I really liked that. I think I liked this the last part about who we become because it's kind of future tense. Just because you're going through a crappy situation right now, it doesn't mean that that's who you are right now or that's who you're going to be forever. It's going to define where you go moving forward. So, um, anyways, he goes on to tell a story about, like, super painful experiences, someone that lost their husband in 9-11. Um, yes, he talks about how nobody likes bad experiences, nobody likes pain, but everybody experiences it. The people that you think are successful, the people that you don't think are successful, like, across the board, everybody goes through bad experiences, bad situations, and pain. Um, so what else? Oh, success in life comes not from holding a good hand, but in playing a poor hand well. Now, my husband is a card player. We just got back from a few casinos on our last, um, on our trip. We were in Vegas, and then we did an RV trip where we hit up several casinos. And so I really liked that quote because, um, success in life comes not from holding a good hand, because how often does that happen? You really win the big pot when you have a crappy hand, or not necessarily crappy, but you don't have, you know, the perfect hand, but you played it well, and that's what counts. So, um, okay, so how to turn your pain into gain. He says, experience isn't really the best teacher, but it sure does serve as the best excuse for not trying to do the same silly thing again. So it's like, hello, if you have this experience or if you have learned from the experience of someone else, it can totally save you from making the same, as he says, silly mistake again. So you can use your bad experiences to help other people. So if you, um, I don't know, whatever, it could be you tried a product that you didn't like, you can share your experience and maybe help someone else um, decide against it or for it. But you can, if you share it, then you're opening yourself up to that opportunity to help other people. So also, um, choose a positive life stance. Now that's something that's always been, um, I'm a positive person, like I don't, I don't dwell on bad things very much, and so um, I get over things really easy, and it's because I have a positive mindset, and that definitely helps, I think. Um, so embrace and develop your creativity, blah, blah, blah. Take responsibility for your life. Now this section really hit home. How many times are you going through a bad situation and you want to find someone else to blame? You want to, even if you're just like, you just want to share the blame even. I'm like that. Um, it's like you want to have a little bit of a reason why this happened, why it's happening to you. But really, what the best thing to do is, is just take responsibility. Did you screw up? Did you not follow through? Whatever it was, if you, you know, reflect on it and figure out what happened, then you can grow from that and not make the same mistake. So, 
All right, so he ends with saying, no matter what you have gone through in your life or what you are currently going through, you have the opportunity to grow from it. It's sometimes very difficult to see the opportunity in the midst of the pain, but it's there. You must be willing to not only look for it, but pursue it. As you do, perhaps the words of William Penn, English philosopher and founder of Pennsylvania province, will encourage you. No pain, no palm, no thorn, no thorn. I'm sorry, let me start over. No pain, no palm, no thorns, no throne, no gall, no glory, no cross, no crown. So basically, he's saying you're going to have to go through some crappy stuff to get to where you want to be. So you just need to accept it and make the best of these situations. So the application section. Um, basically, it starts off by asking you to assess your attitude towards negative experiences. Um, like, do you do everything and anything possible to avoid pain? Or are you on the opposite spectrum where you actually process pain and find the lesson that can be in that experience and deal with it? Um, obviously, you want to be on that spectrum um, of trying to avoid it is just an impossible task and you're just fooling yourself. So there was that. And then he also wants you to kind of go back and reflect on some of your past um, bad experiences and kind of just go through them, define the problem, understand your emotions, um, and then implement a course of action that you can use in order to find some kind of a growth or a lesson to be learned from that experience. So anyways, I would suggest for each of you watching this video to actually spend some time um, revisiting maybe some of your past experiences, your past bad experiences, and see if you can find something of value in there. Like, don't let a bad experience just be a bad experience. Try to get something good out of it. Might as well. You already went through it. So see if there's a lesson to be learned, whether it's a lesson to be learned for you or something that you can share with friends, family, Facebook, whatever. And um, I would also love for you to share it right here on this video. So post below. Um, and I'd love to hear what you have to say. Also, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and you can also find some cool stuff that I post on Instagram at instagram.com slash Jen Greenberg. So thank you so much for following my John Maxwell journey and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.